Hi everyone, here I'm just teaching you some more things in PHP. Let's just open the Notepad++ and now I'm just teaching you that how to get the multidimensional arrays in the for each loop. So let's just create another for each loop and I have already created multidimensional array here. As you can see, this is the multidimensional array. So I'm just getting them and here I'm just, I should add another comment here. Um, printing arrays with different looping techniques. Why I'm just typing this command is because it is just looking like all the things are in the multidimensional arrays. But right now I just put it another comment so this is clear that the multidimensional array is only this. Now here I'm just creating another for each loop and I'm just putting two parentheses and two curly braces and inside the parentheses I'm just getting the employee. Now one thing more I'm just, I just want to clear you that as you just remember that uh, here in the multidimensional array we have to nest one array into another. Okay this is the main array and this array is a nested array and this array is a nested array and now this is the main array. Okay so here I have to do the same things. First of all I'm just getting employee employees okay as employee okay single employee so this is the employee and I'm just getting this employee this array okay and the second thing is this array the employee too okay as employee now in the uh, curly braces I'm just uh, creating another for each loop okay two parentheses and two curly braces now employee okay first of all here in the main for each loop I just got two results for example the employee 1 and the employee 2 okay really simple and really easy to understand when I just got employee employee so I'm here I'm just typing employee as now the field dollar field what I mean a field actually the heading okay this is the heading, the designation or the key. I should type key which is more easy to understand key and then the same sign and here the key and the result or the data. Okay. The key is designation, the data is web developer, the key is skills and the data is php node.js, ember.js, in html5 and same as that name is Mark or John. So I've been understood what I just did here and now I'm just printing all them here I'm, I'm just typing echo and first of all now the interesting thing is what I'm echoing now the interesting thing is we're not in the employees directly here in this for each loop I am inside this employee and what is the employee as as you know that the employee is actually this okay this is actually expanding the employees array and employees array has two data and two elements the employee one and employee two now the second thing is the mean is that I'm just claiming you the first thing bef uh, before the second thing by the way. So the thing is that only two data directly is inside this employees array, the employee one and employee two. So if I if I just type uh, uh, type employees as employee, that means I'm just getting two data. But when I just try to expand the employee, the employee is another array. You know, I just uh, expand the employees and I got two arrays in it. But I'm just trying to ex uh, expand the employee as well, which is another array as key and data. So now I'm just actually uh, expanding the two another arrays here. So right now I'm just echoing it. Type key and here the concatenation sign in here. I'm just typing a simple colon sign in here. I'm just pressing in a space and here. I'm just typing another concatenation sign and the data okay and then again the another concatenation sign and the br save it and go to the browser to check what we have did here now name John this is one uh, actually I think uh, here I should copy this and paste this here and just refresh this now name John now designation web developer skills PHP and another person name mark designation web developer skills Photoshop Illustrator and freehand 
whatever you type you can get in this way this is not really typical in fact really easy to understand and I hope you understood truly just try to understand and if you didn't then please uh, repeat this class uh, listen it multiple times to understand don't go forward until you understood this or if you don't if you didn't then please let me know on the discussion area I'm, I will be waiting for you there goodbye and stay tuned